Hi guys, the title of this video is Debunking Common Descent, Transit Fossils and Common Ancestor. Common Ancestor. What is Common Ancestor? According to evolution scientists, it is the animal that two or more animals is said to evolve from. How real is that and what is the scientific proof that this happened? Let's hear what evolution scientists has to say about that. First, let us look at embryonic similarities. Evolution scientists have declared embryonic similarities as evidence of common ancestor. Doing that is the same as saying that Ford, Mitsubishi, Mercedes-Benz and Toyota have a common ancestor. While cars do not evolve, but they are all cars. So being a car makes another car your common ancestor. Now many people will say that is fucking ridiculous. So what makes it so fucking ridiculous? Is because different companies make different cars. So don't I know that? Of course I do. What you should have noticed is that I am using the same logic that scientists use to declare embryonic similarities evidence for common ancestor. I call that logic the lookalike logic. At different stages of development, cars will look alike and embryos will look alike. Common descent. What is common descent? Common descent was developed on the premise that all living things are genetically related. A definition for common descent would be all animals exhibit characteristics of their own kind and some of their ancestors. Animals with similar bone structure, similar hormones, similar retroviruses, similar chromosomes are considered common descent. Evolution scientists reason these commonalities are evidence for common ancestor. Every engineer knows that in building different machines, the same path can be used for different machines in different places. And every carpenter knows that different houses use the same wood, but the, it would be cut differently. All living creatures are biological machines. The cell is the manufacturer and the DNA contains the blueprints. Common descent reasoning that is used by scientists to justify common ancestor is a carefully designed terminology that was created to justify evolution. Biological evidence shows that every living creature is built from scratch during reproduction with some genetic mutation. A different type of animal has the same amino acids but different type protein structure. It is a scientific fact that every protein structure for every animal is different even though they are the same species. Before evolution can be proven, scientists have to show these facts. Genetic change. What is genetic change? It is the complete change of chromosomes into two things. To do two things. One, chromosome has to be the same type as that of the species and two, they must have the same DNA information. But the $645,000 question is, how can new information be added to the DNA? The possibilities are direct intervention, natural selection, and mutation. Scientists have ruled out that direct intervention, rule, scientists have ruled out direct intervention, so we are left with natural selection and mutation. There is no evidence that natural selection works inside a cell. So we rule it out. So we are left with mutations. Does mutation add new information to the genome? Let us hear what Jonathan Wells, PhD in molecular bio biology, had to say on that matter. And I quote, But there is no evidence that DNA mutations can provide the sorts of variation needed for evolution. There is no evidence for beneficial mutations at the level of micro, macro evolution, but there is also no evidence at the level of what is commonly regarded as 
microevolution, end quote. So beneficial mutations is ruled out. So how the, f how the fuck do scientists add new information to the genome? Well, they arrange the fucking evidence to make it look like natural selection is adding new information to the fucking genome. Let us hear what Stephen Jay Gould have to say about it, and I quote, The evolutionary trees that adorn our textbooks have data at the tips and nodes of their branches. The rest is in front, however reasonable, not the evidence of the fossils. End quote. Listen to what Dot and Button said about the tree of life. And I quote, We have arranged the groups in a traditional way with the simplest forms first and the progressive and more complex groups following. End quote. I wonder how many supporters of evolution actually know these things and still support evolution. Supporting what is false knowingly is to the detriment of the follower. Transition, transitional fossils. What is a transitional fossil? It is a fossil that shows an intermediate link between what the creature was and what it is evolving into. The lobefin fish was thought to be a transitional fossil. Listen to a quote from David M. Rapp Chicago Field Museum of, of Natural History, and I quote, Darwin was completely aware of this. He was embarrassed by the fossil record because it didn't look the way he predicted it would. Well, we are now 120 years after Darwin, and knowledge of the fossil record has greatly been ex expanded. We have a quarter of a million fossil species but the situation hasn't changed much. Ironically, we have fewer examples of evolutionary transitions, transitions than we had in Darwin's time." End quote. Back to the lobefin fish. It was debunked in 1938. Before that, scientists thought it was extinct for over 70 million years. Then they saw a live one. Listen to what Listen to another quote from Derek Eger, past president of the British Geological Association. And I quote, It must be significant that nearly all the evolutionary stories I have learned from a student has been debunked. End quote. I want to take a special look at Archaeopteryx. I call it the evolutionist wonder bird. Because many of YouTube viewers love to make videos claiming it is a transitional link. This is an actual comment that a YouTube viewer made after watching the cartoon video on YouTube entitled Archaeopteryx, which was uploaded by Big Green Rabbit. His name is Eagle Point Rocks. And I quote, this, creation, this is creationist bias. The Archaeopteryx was not a dinosaur. It was a transi transitional species between dinosaur and avian, and it could fly just not well. This comment was made two years ago. When I typed Archaeopteryx in YouTube search bar, I actually saw seven and counting pages of video on it alone. So let us hear what Archaeopteryx have to say about that. And I quote, I am not a fucking transitional fossil. Don't fucking use me as a fucking transitional fossil. End quote. Archaeopteryx has asked me to only state the facts about it. Period. Debunking Archaeopteryx permanently. Facts. Evolution scientists once said that Archaeopteryx is considered by many to be the first bird being of 150 million years of age. Facts. A quote from the book Nature, page 667, and I quote, Fossil remains claim to be of two crow-sized birds 75 million years older than Archaeopteryx have been found. Facts. A quote from up, page 86, and I quote, Ferropod dinosaurs, by comparison, have serrated teeth 
with straight roots and no constrictions. Archaeopteryx have unserrated teeth with constrictions, constricted bases and expanded roots like those of other Mesozoic birds. Facts. A quote from Douglas Futuyama wrote in Chronicles of Higher Education, October 25, 1996. Yale University released a landmark publication. The impetus for the book was the fact that this dinosaurian origin of birds has become overnight the dogma in the field and many of us from the orphanological side felt that was simply wrong, end quote. Facts, a quote from W. E. Swinton and I quote, the origin of birds is largely a matter of deduction. There is no fossil evidence of the stages through which the remarkable change from reptile to bird was achieved, end quote. This is from Biology and Comparative Physiology of Birds, Volume 1, page 1. Everybody is quoting, so how about me? No quote from fucking me? I am fucking quoting too, and I quote. The fucking evidence for evolution is fucking arranged and made up, and scientists has developed a fucking terminology to, set, to sell it. End quote. From Reality Chronicles, chapter 5, verse 2. I don't know why the fucking drawings of dinosaurs that archaeologists found in diggings are considered to be not true. These jackasses are fucking crazy. Well, this is all for now. See you in the next video.